I do this activity early on to demonstrate how we use knowledge we have or knowledge we accumulate to make estimates. And because full counts are frequently not practical, the census, for instance, which we have covered so much in class, it would be too costly to do the census and count the people of the United States every single year. And so every 10 years it's counted, and in between it is estimated. So each person gets a little box of raisins this size. And they're asked, on the basis of their having seen a raisin, how many raisins they think might be in this box. And I make them pause and stop to think. And I write their estimates on the board. So we have estimates raising, ranging from 15 to 50. They know it's not 100 from their knowledge of raisins. Then you open the box of raisins and you look at the top layer, which gives you additional information. And you know that the length is more than the width. And if you know the number in the top layer, and that's your sample in this case, you, can you estimate how many are in the box? Then we get their estimates, and it moves sort of to the higher range, because now they have additional information. The third activity then, after we've discussed the estimates, is to do a final count. And they take the raisins on a clean piece of paper, dump out the box, and actually count the raisins. From this, we discern a normal curve. Some people still get far fewer, and some people still get more, because the raisins are packed by weight, not by number. So that we get, and some raisins are fat and some raisins are small, so that we get, but we get a clear normal distribution of the number of raisins. And we discuss the uses of the normal curve. I point out to them that many college professors use the normal curve in determining grades in some classes. And uh, but there are practical uses as well. Then they're allowed to eat the raisins. <laughs>